Finally, a place for... the horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. At the end of the day, I guess all we can do is try and hope for the best. You're right. What matters is that we never give up. Clorel made mistakes. But she was a great woman, and she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. service nothing right now perhaps in a bit Inquisitor, I am... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her, or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the Fade. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her.
I expected the hero of Ferelden to be at Adamant, but she was not with the other wardens. She studied the Blight after killing the Archdemon, and may know something that could help us. If you like, I can have agents look for her. That sounds like a wise choice. I'll make preparations in the war room. Now, was there anything else? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. And that's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. If Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the abyssal rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? Stroud is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. You're right. I was fortunate. Indeed. Although there is cause for concern, if you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle bite with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Fancy meeting you here. I should go. As you wish. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. And calling the army of demons. That's my favorite part. The demons are nothing. They're a tool. A tool that would have let Corypheus ride roughshod over most of Orlais. Even if they hadn't, the entire idea is wrong. 
the Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. Greetings. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Well spent. We look like capital now. Strange bit of Nearly. kit for a fortress, and it's but no one else has them. Canvas is much more homey when you bed down in silk. Who else would they ask? Yes? Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast.
I trust all is well. Do you have any advice for me? Watch the new recruits. Liliana says spies are inevitable, and I agree. Do you have any advice for me? We must root out the Red Templars. They form the bulk of Corypheus's forces. That's enough for now. Another time, then. You asked for my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... Forgive me. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium? Yes, and I respect his decision. As do I. Not that he's willing to listen. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a seeker, I could evaluate the dangers, and he wouldn't want to risk your disappointment. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time.
Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. Cullen, if you need to talk... You don't have to... I never meant for this to interfere. I believe you. But whatever good it does, promises me nothing if I cannot keep it. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander, and for what? Hmm? Her fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. That I would regain some control over my life, but... These thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. I should be taking it. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over, if you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. <sighs> All right. I need a moment. Could we speak another time? Pleasure. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Van Weigard of Ferenden is visiting. An honor, to be sure. Please show no alarm if you hear shouting in his quarters at night. Shouting? His lordship spent a half a year with his lands under siege by Darkspawn during the Ferelden Blight. His wife informs me the band still sleeps rather... poorly. It's good to see you. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. 
Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. Cole, actually. Who? Oh, wait, you mean the quiet young man? <sighs> How strange. I'm sure we must have talked, yet I can't recall what we discussed. Commander Cullen came to mind. The commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. Let's speak later. Farewell. The order was sent? This morning. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. With rifts contained in the area, we can send in smaller groups to offer relief. I agree. Are you well? A headache. Nothing more. <laughs> 